Inventory Control, Best Practices, Systems, and Management This video explains inventory control. Any organization can benefit from the simple expert advice, guidance, formulas, techniques, policy development, and software guidance. Inventory control, also called stock control, ensures an organization has enough supply. The method ensures customer demand and budgetary elasticity by controlling internal and manufacturing processes, purchases, reorders, shipping, warehousing, storage, receiving, customer satisfaction, loss prevention, and turnover are needed for inventory control. Nearly half of small firms don't maintain inventories, even manually. According to the 2017 State of Small Business Report some text goes here. Inventory control maximizes profit with little stock investment without hurting customer pleasure. It helps organizations evaluate their assets, account balances, and financial data. Inventory control prevents stockouts. Walmart lost $3 billion in 2014 due to stockouts caused by poor inventory control. Supply Chain Management SCM, oversees the flow of raw resources, commodities, and services from production to consumption. Stock control includes warehouse management. This process integrates product codes, reorder points, reporting, product descriptions, inventory listings and counts, and selling and storage techniques. Warehouse management matches sales and purchases to stock. Inventory management covers buying, storing, and selling goods and services. Inventory control and management are different. Warehouse inventory is controlled. Inventory management covers everything from what's in the warehouse to how a company gets it there and where it goes. Inventory control should cover all goods. These practices can manage the following items. How inventory control improves business. Proper inventory control can help a corporation meet client needs and maximize profits. According to the 2015 Global State of Multi-Channel Customer Service Report, 62% of customers have discontinued buying from a firm with bad customer service. Out of stock or backordered items top customer service concerns. According to convenience store study, out of stocks can lose 1 in 100 customers. When a regular product is out of stock, 55% of buyers at any retailer would not buy an alternative. Inventory control strategies could also reduce costs and revenue losses in these areas, spoilage, dead stock, storage fees, cost efficiency, sales drop, losing customers, overstock, inventory loss warehouse losses, controlling inventory, taking stock is just identifying what you have and where you store it to evaluate it. Warehouse control processes differ by business and growth stage. Smaller organizations find certain procedures too complicated. For inventory management methods, your system should maintain inventory, create orders, and ship stock. Inventory tracking methods include Manual, tracking inventory with a pen and paper in a ledger or stock book is the easiest technique. This approach works for small firms with few items. It's hard to plan with this method because it's a real record. Bid cards, stock cards are a more complicated solution. Stock cards list each product's unit price, sale price, and inventory count. Use product-specific cards in huge warehouses and stockrooms. The system tracks purchases, sales, refunds, and promotional stock withdrawals. Note any issues on the stock card. Stock card systems need regular updates to work. Recording odd stock pulls prevents data errors. Simple spreadsheets. Small firms track inventories with spreadsheets. Spreadsheets can automate and digitize product data. Stock levels and statistics can be updated regularly using little coding. Businesses easily adapt these systems. Users must understand how the spreadsheet works because everyone designs one differently. Because only high-level macros or coding that join spreadsheet systems can automatically update them, this method is also considered manual. Basic Inventory Software SMBs use low-cost inventory software. This simple cloud-based automation links to your point-of-sale software to update stock in real time. Analytics and reporting let you do cost comparisons, create reorders, find best and worst selling products, and drill down to order details and consumer habits. Simple inventory management software may expand as your organization expands. Periodic inventory. Periodic inventory management doesn't involve software or scanning, thus most small businesses utilize it. Periodic inventory systems use physical counts. Accounting periods are depending on business needs, although inventory is not tracked daily. You record purchases in a buy account. Physical inventory transfers the purchase account balance to the inventory account. Finally, you modify inventory to match ending stock cost. End inventory cost can be calculated using FIFO or LIFO, last in, first out. Physical inventory counts highlight the periodic system's limitations. 
Due to manual work, most company activity must be halted. Many companies hire more workers at night. This approach has more fraud since there is no inventory tracking between physical counts, limiting responsibility between inventories, and it is harder to find inventory discrepancies. 7 Inventory Control Tips Companies' best inventory control methods vary. Employees should understand your methodology and its policies and processes. Use software with your technique that has the functionality your firm requires, not a one-size-fits-all package. Labeling items, SKUs or otherwise, starts organizational control. Staff must follow quality standards to control quality. Management improvement methods go beyond inventory control. Committed management may improve your firm from top to bottom. Kaizen, Lean, and Six Sigma. Optimize purchases procedures. Proper inventory management requires data and forecasting to govern purchasing. Monitoring consumer demand, deleting obsolete stock, and changing safety stock and reorder points helps identify goods. Manage supplier relationships. Working closely with suppliers can prevent an address problems. Suppliers can give a negotiated minimum order quantity, take back unsold products, and assist you quickly refill when product sales increase. Create automated reports. Inventory control and management systems generate vast amounts of data, which firms must analyze, report, and use. Many systems automatically generate inventory status, stock records, reconciliation, historical stock, aging inventory, and inventory financial reports. Companies should also decide when to share these reports with suppliers to prepare them. Conduct a risk assessment. Businesses often face unanticipated sales spikes, cash shortages, warehouse space shortages, inventory miscalculations, slow-moving products, and discontinued products. Create a risk assessment matrix to identify your biggest hazards and how to manage them. Audit regularly to verify stock and reports. Physical items, spot inspection, and cycle counting are audit methods. To match income tax filings, a physical inventory should be done at least annually. Spot checking is when you choose a few items from your inventory and physically check them against your paperwork or software system. Spot check popular or problematic products. Cycle counting makes reconciliation year-round. High-value products should be audited more often. See using inventory control software for cycle counting for further information. ABC analysis and other methods fall under selective inventory control and forecasting. This analysis classifies inventory by utilization value, procurement source, procurement difficulties, seasonality, unit price, and consumption rate. Choose a formula based on classification importance and stock impact. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like the video. Have a great day.